You may have noticed that every time you see a commercial or advertisement for food, the product never ends up looking the same once you order it. That's the magic behind food advertising. Some of the behind the scenes tricks photographers use are actually pretty clever. Nothing says hot and fresh like lots of steam. Most food doesn't have a very high water content, so it stops steaming as it cools down. But cotton balls can hold plenty of water and when heated up can keep steaming far longer than the food itself. Photographers will strategically place them behind the dish to give it the appearance of warmth. Fresh fruit and veggies don't naturally shine on camera, but with the help from some spray deodorant or aerosol hairspray, they can really give off that dewy finish in an advertisement. Photographers have also been known to use tiny dots of hot glue on the foods to add even more of the crisp and fresh appearance. If the food needs to have an additional pop of color, lipstick and nail polish can be painted in a thin layer to make things more colorful. Consistency of sauces and syrups is very difficult to portray on camera. A quick fix for this is simple melted wax. When it comes to maple syrup for pancakes or waffles, photographers substitute motor oil. Syrup tends to be light and runny on camera, but motor oil is the same color and gives off those melty drips better than syrup. And in order to keep the pancakes fairly dry from the motor oil, they are usually sprayed with a layer of Scotchgard. Now on to the main course. When you see those perfect grill marks on chicken or steak, an expert did not achieve that in the kitchen. Photographers use dark shoe polish and skewers to create that perfect symmetry, and oftentimes the meat was cooked in a pan or on a flat top. When it comes to food with layers, sandwiches, cakes, burgers, pancakes, photographers usually add their own. In order to make each piece appear on camera, the food needs to be stacked. So cardboard and makeup sponges are placed between each item or layer of the dish. The added items are covered with food and held in place with toothpicks or straight pins. Mashed potatoes are the hero of food photography. They're easy to work with, hold their shape, and won't melt or change consistency under the lights. Mashed potatoes are most frequently used as a stand-in for ice cream. Ice cream is tough to work with because it needs to appear cold and hold its shape, which is hard to do with dairy products. But mashed potatoes don't melt, and when you get the perfect consistency, the viewers can't tell the difference at all. Whipped cream is just as difficult to work with as ice cream because while it can take a grand stand to top your favorite dessert, it quickly melts and loses its shape. Cake and cupcake icing sometimes has the same problem, but shaving cream is a perfect substitute. It can easily be mixed and molded, has a fluffy appearance, and just like mashed potatoes as a stand-in for ice cream, nobody can really tell the difference. Speaking of the difficulties of dairy, milk is oftentimes used as a co-star for breakfast foods, especially cereal. We all know how unappetizing a bowl of soggy cereal can be, so instead of filling up the bowl with milk, photographers will use classic Elmer's glue. Then there's a great base to place the dry cereal or fruit, and you can shoot for hours. I think we can all agree that a drink slowly being poured over an iced glass is enough to make our mouth water, but we also know that ice melts and isn't easy to work with in a time crunch. A lot of times fake ice cubes are used instead. They are clear cubes that appear to keep the drink cold, but unless you were touching them, you'd never know the difference. Use with caution though, because the cubes don't float, so fill up that glass to the top so your photo doesn't appear to defy gravity. If a drink in the advertisement needs to have bubbles on the top, such as Coke or even a cup of coffee, photographers will use a thin layer of dish soap to create them. This creates the subtle bubbles on top that won't be as likely to pop. If you need the drink to continuously bubble or fizz, an antacid can be dropped in the bottom of the glass. The perk is you can add as many as you need to keep the bubbles going throughout the entire shoot. So instead of running to the food section on your next grocery trip, Head towards the pharmacy instead to get the items you need to make your food camera ready.